All right, I just wanted to add another quick little clip here. Um, and it, this is the same circuit, exactly what I what I had in the last one. Um, it's connected up. This is my power supply, and uh, it's the signal. The, the, the signal generator is running off 5 volts. This one here is the 12, that's 3.3. Anyway, um, coming back over, this is my common coming out of here, signal, and um, I'm running it through, you can see that, but that's a 2N3055. It's a transistor that I'm just using for higher voltage switching. And uh, it's kind of a mess of cables here. Show you circuit here quick. Hopefully, You'll be able to see this. Um, signal generator here. Just got a small uh, uh, resistor here. Of uh, going into the base transistor. And nothing to it really here. And just current limiting. Um, up here also 1k and then I'm coming in with uh, 12 volts and I just got the probe across the transistor and uh, the point that I wanted to make with this is that s setting it up like this get away from that crazy um, it's running let's see if this helps at all no well anyway um, this is running at about 200 hertz, and um, let me step it up speed-wise, and uh, there, that's better. So, um, what do I go? That's about 2,000 hertz, I believe. One, two, half, yeah, about 2,000 hertz. And uh, the point, and the point is, it's at a five volt, two and a half. So that's that's a full twelve volt right there. Um, and we've still got a really clean waveform. Um, you know, same thing, just frequency in and out. Here, we're in good shape. Duty cycle, same thing. Holds really good shape. And. Um, the amplitude it's it's set to be max i mean and and really this is um going to vary from transistor to transistor because the amplitude all that's doing is you want to be within the the threshold to trigger the transistor you know so you want it to be enough um but you don't want to run it in saturation either and so that's for this one, it's adjusted. I didn't even look to see what it is for this transistor, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna vary from transistor to transistor. Anyway, wanted to share this. Um, about ready to try hooking it up to ignition coil. See what happens. And got some other stuff. You know, there's a uh, kind of a modified little Tesla coil that I've been wanting to play with. Um, just got a whole bunch of. Uh, I mean a whole bunch. If anybody is interested in some of these, I'll, you know, be happy to sell them. But I've got a pile, like, I don't know, a lot, 60 or 70 of uh, these uh, microwave transformers. And um, a bunch of <laughs> more than I need, and I'd be happy to share those. Um, and but I, I've been hooking, uh, like, three or four of these things up. Um, together to drive stuff and uh tell you you can get some power out of that <laughs> uh these here these here are the uh aluminum blocks that i'm using um that i was doing some switching through some of these other ones here too but for uh heat sinks and um believe it or not i had to go something almost that big because the amount of heat that this was putting out on uh, the last time that I was experimenting with this ignition coil. So, anyway, um, a lot of things you can do with it, but it's going to be important that uh, you can, you know, keep a decent wave and still run the power through it at the higher frequencies. 
which this will do. And I say higher frequencies, up to about two, 200,000 hertz. Is. And um, actually, you know, I was thinking about that. I'm pretty sure that the restriction, um, when I put in the, uh, the opti-coupler in here, opti-isolator, which is right here, um, I think that uh, I think that's about the rise and fall time of the transistor in there, and so I'm I'm thinking I guess it could be in one of the other components, but I'm pretty sure the 555 will run faster, and um, you know it's possible it's the comparator. I didn't check on that particular one to see what it was, but my guess is that it's in the the transistor in the in the opti isolator there, and. Uh, that's why the voltage drops too, because I'm I'm in I'm in that rise and fall time at that frequency, and so I'm not not fully opening and closing, I guess you'd say. So uh, you know, possibly playing around with that, I could get a little little more uh, speed out of it, a little higher frequency. Um, but uh, right now, I don't need it, so I'm not going to waste any time on it today. Uh, Hope this was helpful for someone. Thanks. Bye.